think the one key takeaway for me is that when you're presenting information to particularly non-financial executives, the goal is not to inform them of everything. It's to drive the right level of discussion, the right level of agreement, and ultimately get to a decision where you're matching the shape of your investment in security with the shape of the risk to the organization. Understand the business you're in. You are there to support the business. You are not the business. Uh, and until you understand what the business is, the needs of the business, you, 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 you'll find it very difficult to make yourself relevant. So understand what, you, what your business is doing and present yourself and be positive in how you can bring, bring security into support that business too. We are starting to see more and more information security, academic education being merged in with more MBA type education. So we're seeing technical and business. So hopefully that will bring a new breed of individual that gets both sides of the equation. Uh, it's not going to change overnight. I think we're talking about a very long process because the education takes a while and, and what have you. Go on a marketing course is probably the first piece of advice that I would give them. Secondly, uh, stop, uh, stop being the, the technical specialist that will develop policy and deploy controls. That's definitely part of the BIU job. But become the evangelist and the advocate of information security as a business and enabler and look at the risk management first of all so uh, because all too often CISOs are very guilty to try and uh, uh, get as much budget as they, as they can by basically scaring people and, and, and that gives information security a bad name. So and the third thing of course would be deploy a security awareness program very much looking at learning styles. So that is very much working with the HR department because they know how to do that. The one piece of advice I'd, I'd give to security professionals um, in, in terms of how they communicate things is really to not get so caught up in security or technology or the world crumbling down. It's to focus on the impact it's likely to have on the business and put it in the context of risk in language that the audience that they're speaking to will understand. If we're looking into the future and, and, and looking at what's going to be big in the coming year, my opinion is the gathering of data. I think there is a metric that's now being talked about which is the mean time to know, which is all to do about how quickly you can identify that your network, your infrastructure, your estate has been infected. And the assumption is that yes, by all means have defence in depth and you must have that for a, for, a, for a proper security policy. But then you've got to have a catch-all which is saying, okay, well let's assume that somebody who's brilliant has actually managed to get all the way through. How quickly can we detect that there is a problem on our network? In most organisations you're never going to ever be the most important uh, department. You're going to definitely underpin everybody, you know, you need to underpin data protection, um, you need to underpin legal in compliance, you need to underpin PCI, you need to underpin several other initiatives. And if you see yourself as an enabler, you can then make friends and allies with every other department, finance, legal, human resource, marketing. Marketing, I mean, marketing needs to love information security. Now that's probably never heard of, <laughs> um, but if marketing likes you and you you keep agree you keep working with them, then you know your message is getting across.